Hi guys! So, this is my first video in conjunction with my blog Love and Let Live, which, if you haven't checked out already, it's basically an account of my transition into veganism. In other words, I now choose not to eat any meat in my diet. I avoid eating animal byproducts as well, such as dairy and eggs, and I also avoid buying any products that have ever been tested on animals. So that could include things like household cleaning products, makeup, also uh, fur and wool in clothing, and leather in shoes. So this is basically why I chose to do a blog. Transitioning into veganism is not a quick fix. Obviously I'm 25 now, I've had 24 years of eating meat, animal products, buying things that weren't necessarily cruelty free. So a little bit of a shock to the system, not gonna lie, but I'm really enjoying it. I think if you're dedicated and you're motivated by the right reasons and you have sort of a support community, maybe your family, friends, other vegans that you meet along the way, it makes it a lot easier. I basically made my blog to be able to connect with other vegans and perhaps when I'm a bit more established, help other people that are looking at either a vegan diet or a new vegan lifestyle. So that's the boring bit out of the way. Today I'm doing a review on a new lip colour that I purchased from Superdrug's own beauty brand called B is for Beautiful, or B for short. To my knowledge, it's a relatively new brand and it does claim to be 100% cruelty free and vegan, which is really refreshing to find a company that is both, because you tend to find that a makeup brand will boast that it's cruelty free and doesn't test on animals, but then it contains animal products in it such as cochineal, which is unfortunately crushed beetles, which makes up pinky red pigment in a lot of makeups, and beeswax for things like eyeshadow creams and also lipsticks. Right, so I bought a batch of new things. I've got several things to try, but the thing I'm most excited about trying is this new lipstick, if I can find it. Basically, I wanted a color that was pinky red, nice and bright, for the summer, I love bright colours in the summer. It's why I've kept my sort of base makeup fairly neutral because I kind of think that dark eyes and a really bright lipstick might look a bit trampy on me anyway. If you can pull it off, fantastic. So I haven't tried it out yet and I'm gonna give it a go. So the lipstick I'm trying is number 20, Watermelon, I don't know if you can see that there. And I will just show you, so you push you push it in and then you can pull it out as well. And I want to show you the colour there. I have to say, when I was putting it on, it was really nice and moisturising, had a really nice texture to it. And it's great to know that no animal products have been used to create that. Really nice colour, it's between the reddy and pink that I wanted. I think if I kept laying it up, it would be bolder and bolder, which is really cool. But for right now, it just kind of suits the look I'm going for. It's nice and cheap at the moment. I got mine online and it's about three to four pounds when it's normally about 67. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. And if you like it too, I would get yourself down to Drug or online. Okay, so thank you for watching. That has been me doing a review of number 20 watermelon lipstick from Superdrug B. I think it's fantastic and hopefully you do too. And I will do another review soon. Bye!